Annabelle Howard says, thanks for the invite. Can't keep my eyes open that late. Totally fine. However, I'd love to hear you talk about how to embed Google Plus posts on a website. I want to do that for my kids. Macbeth goes to social project. So kids can comment but have no clue how to. Thanks. Very easy to do. Very easy to do, Annabelle Howard, actually. Um, if you want to go in and do a embed of your Google Plus profile, of your Google Plus posts, social media-wise, um, you want to look into a plugin called Comments Evolved. Now, this is assuming you are actually using the embed feature or a WordPress site. I'm sorry. It's assuming you're using a WordPress site. If you're not using a WordPress site, you have to manually embed your posts into your actual web blog. So I'm hoping you're using WordPress because that makes this process a whole lot easier. Now, there's a couple other uh, plugins you can go out there and look for depending on the service you're looking for, but I'm primarily going to focus on the one called Comments Evolved. It's the one I use for my website, craigthetechteacher.com. When you go to the website uh, and you install uh, Comments Evolved on your WordPress site, it'll let you go in and configure your entire uh, expansion of social media integration for your comment section. And the great thing about this plugin is it will actually take over your existing comment section. So essentially, if you're already accepting comments on all of your WordPress posts, it'll automatically go in there and swap out those comments with your actual Google Plus comments. Now, the reason I love this is because I've talked about this on my show time and time again, is that social media is where people live. We're living inside of our social media. We don't want to leave social media. And so if you do get people to leave the social media to read your blog post, which is pretty easy to do just to get them to go to your post, when they scroll down, they're going to feel right at home because at the bottom of the post, their social media response tab is going to be there. And they're going to be able to respond to you directly as if they are sitting inside of Google+. And what's cool about it is it actually transposes those comments from that feed on that post to the actual live post right on Google+. So Comments Evolved is a very powerful plugin, and it doesn't just use Google+, it also uses Facebook, and I believe you can integrate Discuss and Live Fire into it as well. And you can actually use all of them in conjunction with one another, and they just click a different tab in order to do different comments on different types of plugin, uh, different types of services. So I'm a huge fan of that one. Uh, and if you're not using that, you have to look into embedding them manually, which gets a lot more complicated, and usually you have to do it on each individual post. Um, you can just grab the code. If you click the little drop-down next to your post that you shared it on, you can just grab the embed code and paste it into your uh, website as well, and it'll embed a copy of your post code right into the website, and people can comment right on that post. That's a quick and dirty way to do it. Excellent question, Annabelle Howard, and, uh, and, I, and I, I salute you for uh, taking that step and realizing that, hey, people don't want to adopt a new comment system. People want to stay inside their social media ecosystems, and they do. Talk about it on my show all the time, and uh, don't, don't, don't even try to implement your own comment systems anymore. It's just too much work. Too much work. It's an uphill battle, people. <laughs> 